I am Giulia Iori, I am trained as a physicist and I am currently a professor of economics. Financial crisis can be forecast up to a certain point. And for example, the current crisis was expected and central banks had been sending warnings uh, over the previous months uh, uh, because of the high leverage of banks. But um, for predicting exactly when a crisis may arise and predicting exactly the extent of the crisis is very difficult. And uh, it is, the, you know, the ambition, uh, a reasonable ambition would be to be able to assess what's the probability of a crisis arises given a set of conditions that one can uh, infer from the current economic situation. So my research has been focusing on uh, market microstructure, so both analyzing uh, financial markets and the credit market. And in particular for the credit market we have been uh, looking at the stabilizing role of the uh, overnight uh, interbank market. And uh, an important uh, result of our research has been um, um, to understand the role of heterogeneity among banks, to understand the role of the interbank market. And, uh, for example, if you have an homogeneous system of banks, you can see that the interbank market usually plays a stabilizing role. So, but if you introduce banks that differ in terms of size, of risk uh, exposure, then you can see that uh, big players who have lots of connections with uh, smaller banks can be very destabilizing for the system and triggers avalanches of defaults. So. So we want to really push forward the research we have been doing over the past years, both in terms of uh, modeling using agent-based models of the interbank market and analyzing uh, financial data of the interbank market in particular, to be able to identify some early warning signal of a crisis, either in terms of a change in the topology of the connection among banks or in terms of some statistics that presents uh, some peculiar behavior around, uh, we want to, to see whether something happened around uh, the dates of the previous crisis and be able to use these indicators to foresee and forecast for crises in the future. For our particular project, but overall for FOC, data are crucial because the idea really is to uh, create a feedback between the models and the data. And we will use the data to validate our models and to identify patterns that then we want our models to be able to reproduce and then to generate when we run uh, simulations of possible scenarios in the future. I think the strength of, of FOC is that it develops along four main lines. So one is that of developing agent-based type of models so it uh, can really incorporate uh, learning and feedback activities of economic agents uh, into the models and they represent a step forward from traditionally economic models. It's very much based on analysis of data and the model will be validated by the data. There is the ambition of constructing this uh, IT platform that can be used by policymakers to monitor in real time the development of this network of interconnectedness between banks and firms, and as such, can be used as an instrument for policymakers to test some policy rules and some regula regulatory regimes and also to introduce some measures to mitigate the risk that a crisis may arise.